Hello and happy day. How does slowing down sound to you today? Would you like to reduce the noise for just a bit? Are you ready to make a choice and decide to listen? My name is Igor, SF Walker, and I am here to remind people to slow down, to reduce the noise, to walk their lives into a natural flow. Welcome back to the Book of the Week series. Every week, as I read another amazing title, I share it with the world. And today, we look at My Voice Will Go With You, The Teaching Tales of Milton H. Erickson by Sidney Rosen. Trance, according to Erickson, is the state in which learning and openness to change are most likely to occur. It does not refer to an induced somnolent state. Trance, in fact, is a natural state experienced by everyone. Our most familiar experience takes place when we daydream. But other trance states can occur when we meditate, pray, or perform exercises such as jogging or walking, which has sometimes been called meditation in motion. In these situations, a person is aware of the vividness of inner mental and sensory experiences and external stimuli, such as sounds and movements, assume lesser importance. In trance, patients often intuitively understand the meaning of dreams, symbols, and other unconscious expressions. Major features of Ericksonian therapy include encouraging resistance, providing a worse alternative, encouraging a response by frustrating it, seeding ideas, amplifying a deviation, and prescribing the symptom. Milton was a master at using anecdotes in therapy as follows. Anecdotes are non-threatening. Anecdotes are engaging. Anecdotes foster independence. The individual needs to make sense out of the message and then come to a self-initiated conclusion or a self-initiated action. Anecdotes can be used to bypass natural resistance to change. Anecdotes can be used to control the relationship. Anecdotes, they model flexibility. Anecdotes can create confusion and promote hypnotic responsiveness. And anecdotes tag the memory. They make the presented idea more memorable. Anecdotes. Erickson applied the principle of getting the patient's attention through surprise, shock, doubt, and confusion with the generous use of implications, questions, puns, and humor in his stories. Each story has a structure and a plot, often with a surprise ending. The stories often build to a climax, followed by a feeling of relief or success. Now, getting to a state of trance, one goes through these stages. Fixation of attention. Depotentiating habitual frameworks and belief systems. Unconscious search. Unconscious process. And hypnotic response. Erickson underlines the fact that the unconscious mind is a repository of memories and skills that can be called upon after many years. He was fond of quoting Will Rogers. It ain't what we don't know that gives us trouble. It's what we know that ain't so that gives us trouble. To which Erickson would add, the things that we know but that don't know we know give us even more trouble. In the convergent thinking, a number of stories or a number of themes converge into one. In divergent thinking, one idea moves out into many different directions like branching of a tree. A simple exercise to stimulate divergent thinking, helpful in stimulating imagination and increasing creativity, is something along the lines of name seven ways to avoid spilling coffee while driving. We get into the habit of not seeing familiar objects, friends, or families. People often say, nothing is new under the sky. <laughs> really? Nothing is old under the sky. Only the eyes become old. 
accustomed to things, then nothing is new. For children, everything is new. That is why everything gives them excitement. How can we learn to think like children again and regain some creativity? Well, watch little children play. Watch them draw pictures. Is it a barn? No, it's a cow. No, it's a tree. The picture is whatever they want it to be. In a trans state, you've got billions of brain cells at your service that ordinarily you don't use. See, children are very honest. I don't like you. Whereas you would say, pleased to meet you. You follow a very careful routine socially without realizing you are restricting your behavior. In a hypnotic trance, you're free. Adults have closed minds. They think they're watching everything. They aren't watching. They've simply fallen into a routine, habitual way of looking. Go back to seeing the world through the eyes of the child. You know, like you used to. Please help out. It is easy. Simply like this video so more people can enjoy it. Share it too and spread the word. Subscribe to my channel and stay up to date. A link to this book is in the description below. So buy it and read. Never stop learning. Thank you. Love and respect.